God, there's nothing left here. It feels wrong standing in the place where so many people died. There's too much security patrolling, broken, abandoned building. Doesn't seem right. Good point. Bagley, what exactly am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. I'm impressed it's transmitting anything at all in this condition. Where's the rest of it? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. data relay and I'll have it. Just take the audio from this stream and the video for the 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Read you loud and clear.
CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Bagley, can you tell me who is controlling the spider bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Of course police would watch you. All I do is watch. Wait, Kelly? As in Clan Kelly? So gangsters are behind the bombings? It was not their operation, but looks like Clan Kelly was supplier. Interesting. I wonder who they were meeting. She didn't look like Clan Kelly. Does that mean she's part of Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. One to transport. We can do that, right? Or, I don't know, quantum tunnel the space-time continuum? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Nice idea. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? I understand. RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero Day's calling card. There, hurry. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to pilot all the targets? Stuff here. We're all on need to know. So Zero Day coordinated multiple groups to commit the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. It's hard to believe the police may have known who the real bombers were all along and never said anything to the public. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Excuse me, but you seem like the kind of person who really cares and wants to make a difference. I do not feel the need for speed.
problem. It looks like Albion overtook the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Pretty sure that privatizing the police force defeats the purpose of having police. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. Is that the same spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you identify the last user? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> that opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening. your way through this last bent path. Got it. Scanning Spiderbot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Hmm, fine. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? Fascinating. Let's go find out what we can. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates.
The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pings these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's quiet and out of the way. A good place to lay low. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Bagley, any way to get inside? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. down there, fully stocked with police equipment. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. I wonder how their investigation led them to the tone bombing. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Oh, Jesus. Albion was one thing, but now they're working with Clan Kelly too? It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. People are being kidnapped right off the streets. We have to stop this. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. <laughs> 